just in. Unconfirmed reports of an accident at Southland Park. I can't find my boy! Hundreds of family members gathered outside the deserted to park today to commemorate the second to tell of the Southland at Park Tragedy. Full investigation of the park's safety Authorities procedures. report at least 30 deaths and close to 100 Five years injuries. since the tragedy closed the gates of Southland Park, but new evidence is claiming the malicious prosecution and believes he'll be vindicated he every at last. Penny of his fortune the so-called legal eagles from these dream lawsuits. team defending Southland Park only oh jokes. God, there were people flying everywhere. Body parts. And the victim's Blood. families oh have God. vowed to appeal the decision. Not guilty. Cleared of all charges. This training level will introduce to you the very... No, no, no. No training level. No. We're good. Thanks. Hey, everybody. Bloody Meow. Next Let's Play of... Small. Actually, a small Let's Play. It's going to be probably, if I can count my chickens right, it's going to be 13 parts, because there's 13 missions in the wonderful, wonderful assassination game called Hitman Blood Money. This is the fourth Hitman game out of five... Welcome Currently to the States, in, 47. Uh, this should be a straightforward operation. We need you to penetrate an abandoned amusement park, locate the owner, and take him out. The target is a Joseph Clarence, also known as Swing King. An accident involving one of the rides at the park a few years back forced him to close it down. Our client has made a special request that the photograph you have in your possession be the last thing the target sees. Mr. Clarence has somehow become involved with a narcotics distribution ring, so the park may still have some amusements. Enjoy the ride, 47. No pun intended, Diana. Good job. So the photograph we're going to show is this one, a young boy. The client wants you to show this photo to the target. It should be the last thing he sees, our little darling. Which is obviously one of the kids that died in the Ferris wheel accident due to safety violations of Mr. Swing King, a.k.a. Joseph Clarence. What the fuck you looking at, Kraken? I'm here to see Joseph Clarence. Never heard of him. Mr. Swing King? Oh, that sorry ass dig here. What the fuck they call you? Names of a friends, so I don't need one. <laughs> oh. Names are for friends? So I don't need one. Ooh, nicely said, Agent 47. Nicely said. Now this this game actually kind of just popped up as a let's play. I actually didn't intend to be honest, I didn't know what let's play I'd be doing. But uh Let's check it out. There you go. The super troopers going to check out the little coin distraction. But uh, I think it's thanks to a recent Hitman game that you may see some sort of, you may be seeing, or you have been seeing, and you may see more of, uh, Hitman Absolution. Uh, it really got me back into the Hitman craze, and I actually purchased the Hitman collection during the Steam Christmas sale. I really, really uh, just enjoy the Hitman franchise. It's like a public stealth, vicious assassination from a cold-colored, cold cold-colored, cold-blooded killer. And it's just, it's good stuff. Uh, 
I don't think so, buddy. Oh yeah, if I need the gun, huh? Yeah, this um, this level actually is my least favorite level of the game, and it's not really it's okay to be because it's actually just a tutorial level, so you kind of do things that are very un Hitman like, actually very un Silent Assassin like, which is like killing people left and right, clearing rooms, but it's to get you to get through all the mechanics, and without knowing these things, it'd be kind of troublesome in the other missions because you'd be really lost and very confused of how to go about things. But um, what Hitman really is about, at least this game in particular, is it's actually just a gigantic puzzle. And there's different ways to put the pieces together. So it might be like an Enigma type of puzzle, but... Uh, and that's the, way, that's, the way, that's the way it is. So like I said, this is kind of like a more action than it should be. So don't think that this is how the game actually works if you're new to Hitman, which you could be. It's not actually, I mean, you might have heard of it, oh, it's a bald guy in a suit, and it might be all you know about it. But hopefully this may give you a greater appreciation for the Hitman franchise, I guess. Because personally, I think it's one of the greatest. Uh, IO Interactive is, is just uh, some crazy people. Now, their most recent game, and I like to talk, actually, I actually prefer this Let's Play. I'm going to do something kind of different. Like I said, I'd like to do different things in these uh, Let's Plays. I'm gonna actually uh, oof, attempt to... Now this is gonna be very hypocritical sounding, but for this game I think this will play better. Uh, to kind of give a slight kind of walkthrough per se, but more so kind of just saying what's going through my mind as I'm going through the mission. And as opposed to just talking your ear off about any little thing. But I mean, I'm sure that might happen too, because that's just usually how it works. Uh, so, I'm going to use the opportunity of this tutorial mission because it's actually rather just bland because it's just, like I said, going through kind of a blah blah here, here and there. Not really something I really want to do right now. Well, not do right now, but I don't really want to do the mission, but since it's, you know, in order for the story. But the Swing King needs to die, as you can see, that it's ridiculous that he claims there's no safety violations to that horrible, horrific accident that happened. So, that's very, uh... Unfortunately, it gives you some motive to want to wanna assassinate this guy. But what's cool is that you usually don't have you don't have actual moral motive to assassinate some of these people in this game, which is cool. It really shows you're a cold-blooded killer. Now they might be bad people, but it's mostly just whatever your client wants, your client gets, and that's kind of the cool thing about it. So let us place this pistol into this baking soda crate, and it will show you how to be searched while being able to smuggle in a weapon. As long as you don't have a any sort of metal, metallic weapon, you won't be searched or you won't be caught because it's just going to search your body. So that's a good. That's a. It's kind of showing you how to get through because there are parts in this game that you'll be searched unless you're wearing a proper disguise tier, I should say. But yes, the game Hitman Absolution came out Gotta and uh, it, it had some uh, mixed reviews. A lot of people like it. A lot of people hate it. And uh, Hitman. Cool. aficionados I guess if you want to say really have some people like it some people don't uh, mostly because they say that it's not hit I can get the money sweetie it's as good as mine already mr. spooks got it we'll open the park it'll be like old times no no just a few more days you gotta believe me don't say that sunshine Mr. Spook's gonna come true, baby. He's good for the money. I won't sign the papers. I won't. You gotta give me one more chance. You gotta. Baby cakes? Sunshine? Hello? Oh. I'll fix it. There you go. But basically, what Hitman Absolution is, I've played almost 100 hours of it, and it's really like, I, I just love it. I mean, games that I love, I just play constantly. It's just so much fun. But uh, my direct opinion of it, playing a little bit of Silent Assassin and knowing a lot of the Hitman and really liking Blood Money, but also liking, I want to play Contracts at some point, but right now I uh, don't really have attention to it at this point. But the... Uh, it's basically a really, really nice stealth game, cover action-based 
stealth game set in the Hitman universe. It's definitely not a Hitman game in terms of like Hitman blood money, which is what people expect. People will say that they're fans of Hitman, and it's because the only one they played is blood money. And there's nothing wrong. You can be a fan of Hitman, and uh, I don't have a pistol. Oops, I forgot to take the gun. Well, this is going to be uh, interesting. <laughs> oh, there is a gun there. Oh, that's nice of them. Thank you. Like they say. Aren't they nice? That's I, I appreciate that. They actually gave me a chance to kind of mess around here. Woo! Whoa! Ooh, you flew! What the fuck? Be quiet. Well, he really flew, didn't he? It's, uh, it's been a while now, uh, Scoop, and I was just wondering uh, where we were on the whole money thing. Were you? Yeah, see, the thing is, if you remember, you know what we agreed to was it'd just be a short while and you would pay in cash and... and uh, I know the, what the pressure was you were under must be, but the deal is a deal, and I was hoping, you know, maybe you could just pay what we agreed on, even though you've been here for, heck, more than twice as long as we agreed to, but, but just pay the original amount and move on. Not right away, necessarily, but, you know, I'd appreciate it. No. <laughs> Boy, man, making it feel bad. Oh well. Them's the brakes. Oops. Going all over the place, aren't we? Whew. Right in the butt. Hello, down there. But the point of this um, <laughs> talking about Hitman Absolution is that people wanted Blood Money too. They wanted. The same, they wanted the same style from Blood Money, but better graphics and better mechanics. That's all they expected. And when they didn't get what they expected, their little entitled little brats didn't get what they didn't expect. Um, what they expected, they uh, complained about it and, and curse it and say that they're a horrible company. The game's complete crap and complete, absolute garbage. And in reality, as me just being able to appreciate a game because it's a giga game, Hitman Absolution is a fantastic game, but by no means is it a Hitman game in the sense of traditional sense. It really isn't. I can agree to that. But it's a great game, and it shouldn't change your mind because it's not what you expect. I mean, you'd be pleasantly surprised sometimes, and I think that's a problem with today's generation of gamers, but uh, neither here nor there. Damn, girl. I'd have your fine ass unwrapped before you could say... Move that handsome stud on time, my river. I bet you could. Oops. <laughs> That's Uncle Joe. Better get back to your post. What a tussie. Get back to your post, buddy. Don't oh. lean over. Anybody bring any papers today, Caroline? No, I'm Caroline. Sure. All right, let's poison her little drink. She's probably used to having strange fluids in her mouth, so. Shouldn't be too much of a, a bother, so I might actually need to have a better distraction for it. But uh, I guess we'll see, won't we? But yeah, like I said, don't. If for some reason you like Hitman and you were questioning Hitman Absolution, if you see it for like 25, 30 bucks, I think it's worth $60, my opinion. But I also just tend to like games that I like and play them constantly. How was that? How was that, uh, Caroline? Ooh. That was a really glassy plastic bottle that you just dropped there. It shattered, but it didn't shatter. Oh, you passed out on some floor in the carpet, face first. I'm sure, it's not your first time. That's okay. And now, that's not true. You know who the hell are you? 
How'd you get in here? Carolyn! My client has hired me to show you this photograph. I don't understand. My client has asked me to ensure it's the last thing you ever see. Please, look at the photograph, Mr. Clarence. Oh, please. Haven't I suffered enough? I... <laughs> Don't you think I know how much suffering I'm responsible for? I can't sleep. I haven't slept in... The guilt I feel. I'm so sorry. I know I can never... Well, he sounds genuine, it's only because he got caught. You've only been through the troubles because when you finally got out of your little safety violation lawsuit, you were happy. And now you're in trouble with another undercover third party gang that's trying to protect you. And now you're in trouble with them. And now you think you suffered enough. So I don't think so, Mr. Swing King. I don't think so. Time to pay your debt in full. Time to escape. Now, one thing that I think is really gorgeous about this game is the audio cues. If you didn't notice, as soon as that baseball bat caved in his poor little skull and he blacked out to death, that music cue played as soon as it was done. And that happens throughout the game when you do something, um, when you infiltrate, when you take a disguise, when you sedate someone when you kill them when you kill your target when you enter new areas musical cues happen and that's just a wonderful thing in games musical cues need to be in every single game but we still have a loose matter of these third-party gang members and not that i want to kill them but they're blocking my exit and they're not going to let me leave and we need to leave as little bit of witnesses as possible so it looks like we're going to have to get their attention Sorry guys. Bye. No witnesses. Sorry Snoop. No more for you. You're covering your head, but you're a witness. You saw me. Sorry girl. Boy, they really fly when you shoot them in the head. And that's the first mission. Like I said, it's, it's gonna be vastly different from the rest. The Eraser Massacre 6. Team, that is. What's cool is that you get these uh, newspaper articles that kind of show how... It's kind of sh hidden, showing how you did your rating, if you will. But in a really clever, like, newspaper, authentic-looking way. But uh, this one's a little bit more boring, because it's going to be like, you know, Mr. Clarence is believed to be the victim of a violent episode that caused 15 additional deaths, among were two innocent bystanders, blah, 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 blah. So, then there was a witness that describes him as a chameleon, but this is kind of all just kind of tutorial mode. So, we'll worry about the newspapers on the next mission.